And without any further ado, I'd like to introduce Peyton Pritchard and Casey Benson from the University of Oregon. Fellas, uh, to start it off, um, what, do you, what have you seen and heard about Rhode Island and what kind of uh, situation do they present for you that you might not have seen in the uh, Pacific uh, 12 Conference? Uh, you know, Rhode Island is a very talented team. Uh, all star the starting five is really, uh, they can all score, so that's a hard task uh, for us to handle. But, you know, we just really got to come ready to play. Defense has to be our priority that game. Uh, you know, we know Rhode Island's a hot team. Uh, I think they've won eight or nine, went in their conference tournament. So a uh, team coming in with a lot of confidence, so we just got to match the intensity, knowing, uh, you know, it's win or go home, obviously. So uh, going to be ready to go, going to be focused, and uh, looking forward to it. I'd like to open it up for uh, questions, this gentleman. Can you just contrast how different a matchup this will be stylistically, maybe compared to yesterday? Sure. I mean, uh, you know, we know that they're very athletic, um, you know, kind of a different team. Iona shot a ton of threes, um, while Rhode Island's a little bit more uh, going at the basket. Um, so in that sense, it's contrasting. And, um, you know, just got to be ready to defend, the, uh, fight the dribble on defense and, uh, you know, contain them. Question over here, Tony. Tony Harvey, Sacramento Observer. Uh, you guys shot the ball really well the other day, at, uh, yesterday, and I know defense is defense is your your concern as you did say, Peyton. But you guys you made 35 field goals. What is it like, you know, shooting down there on that court and you know blowing it up like that? And you plus, I know you want to be more consistent with it tomorrow as well. Um, you know. Obviously, you know, we like to shoot like that every game. And I think it starts with, like, ball movement, uh, not taking tough shots early. Uh, you know, in the Pac-12 tournament, we really start the game. We take some tough ones and really took us out of rhythm and didn't get us into the flow of the game. But when we take some good shots, uh, you know, everybody's capable of hitting those. And it just really gets us in the flow. Joe Kayata from NBC10 in Providence. Uh, is there one player in particular that you guys have maybe seen a lot of video on or has caught your eyes from the URI Rams? Uh, not necessarily. No, I think they're pretty balanced for the most part from what we've seen. Um, you know, kind of have different guys that can make plays. And so it's just a matter of everybody guarding their guy individually and also collectively, you know, just making it tough on them. And, and uh, you know, they get out in transition. So we got to, you know, that's, that's a big fo focus for us defensively. And so. You know, I think it's it's a team that anybody can get going, so you just got to kind of be ready for everybody. Ms. Um, Smith? Sally Smith from ESPN. What's it been like, what was it like yesterday adjusting without Boucher, and what it, do you have to think about for tomorrow? Uh, obviously, it's a big loss. Uh, Chris Boucher is, you know, in my opinion, he's an All-American type of player. Uh, but as far as our team goes, everybody else has to step up now. Uh, we can't dwell on his injury, you know, and – we got to move on, and we got to try to make a run at this. So everybody has to fill his role in some way. And Cavell stepping up, Keith, Roman, you know, guys that had uh, lower minutes during the year, now they're playing a lot more. It's just, you know, they're going to step up huge for us. And me and Casey need to step up defensively more for him, and everybody needs to. This is a rare team that blocks shots almost as, as well as you guys do. How much do you guys go against Jordan, you know, Chris, when he was healthy, to give you give you a sense of what it's like to go against a team that, that is so active trying to block shots as you guys are? No, I mean, obviously in practice every day, you know, playing with or against Jordan and Chris, it's just kind of, so you see that, um, you know, it's kind of obviously when you see Jordan and Chris, you know, two of the best shot blockers in the country, that helps. Um, but, you know, they're going to be flying around, and so we just got to, uh, you know, get the best shots possible, knowing that they're coming and, and making plays for each other to get open looks and, and uh, you know, get drives to the basket. <laughs> question to our left, Tony. Thank you. This is a question for both of you. Uh, I touched a little bit up, uh, about this the other day with Coach uh, Dana Altman. What is it like playing under his leadership? Because he's won everywhere he's been. 
Oh, no, absolutely. Uh, you know, Coach has done a great job every single place he's been at, and he's done a great job with us. You know, in my three years here, um, you know, it's been a, a blast playing for him. You know, going to, being in our third NCAA tournament, uh, you know, just as a testament to the type of coach he is. Um, you know, putting us in positions to be successful every night out, and and uh, you know, getting the best out of each of us is, is something he does. You know, great, and so. You know, I think you've just seen, you know, his his uh, job of coaching every year. You know, whether it was two years ago when we were, you know, picked, I don't know, ninth or tenth in the conference, whatever it was, and ended up getting second. Or last year we were picked fourth and we won it. And then this year we we're obviously in a different position. But you know, every year he's he's done a great job. So it's been a been a blast playing for him. Uh, you know, coaches. You know, like Casey said, he's a great coach. Uh, a lot of us came here because of his winning history. Um, and for me personally, uh, throughout this year, I've learned so much more from Coach, just growing off and on the court. So, yeah, it's a testament of what who he truly is as a coach.